Hi there, and thank you for joining me today. This is Doris Spencer of Library Arts, and today we're going to create a really fun, simple, easy to make, you heard me say simple, right? Dolphin themed pillow. We're gonna work with felt, two different colors, front and back for your pillow. We're gonna create a dolphin using felt shapes. We're gonna use gems. We're gonna use some dimensional paint you see here. Uh, we're gonna add some fish and we're just gonna have a great time. So why don't we get started by going over the materials for this project and then I'll lead you step by step through how to make it. Okay, see you in a moment. Okay, let's begin. So you can decide if you want your dolphin to go up in the air, to go downwards, to go sideways. So there's a few options you have with your design. And then once you're happy with it, remember that um, that's part of the dolphin and then you're gonna have this belly shape to go with it too. So just keep that in mind. And then you have these two fins. So I might even want to suggest you glue the lower fin on first before you do your dolphin, just so you know where it's supposed to go. So I'm going to um, lift this up, lift this up. Now that I know this is gonna go here, I'm gonna go ahead and open my glue. Now this glue is very drippy, so I suggest wiping it on the edge of the cup and you won't get that drippiness. Putting a good amount of glue on the back and then just pressing that into place. Now your dolphin is going to lay on top of it like that. Oops, just making sure again that you, whatever you do, you have space for that tail and the nose to fit on. I'm gonna do this. So I'm gonna go ahead and flip my dolphin over and put the glue on the back of the dolphin and then I'm gonna put him or her on top. Now, interesting thing to know, I found out recently there's such a thing called a pink dolphin. Never heard of it. Maybe in the future I'll have a pink dolphin program, but right now I'm just doing the traditional gray-blue dolphin. And you'll see that I'm being pretty generous with the glue. You don't want to glop it on, but you want to have enough that's going to hold your dolphin down from fin to tail to nose so that is not peeling up after you've glued it. So that is filled with a nice layer of glue, gently picking it up, lining it up with that fin. Remember mine's going to be kind of going downwards, but I want to make sure the tail is going to fit that. Looks just about right. Now I'm going to give it a good press and sometimes a good idea is to actually flip it over and really give it a nice press from the back of the pillow so that you know it's fully secured. Now I can gently pick it up. And yeah, I do see a little bit of the glue coming through, but that's gonna dry clear, so I'm not too worried about it. Now I also have the lower half of the dolphin that makes up his mouth. And I also have this other fin so it's a bit of an overlap right there like that. So I'm gonna put some glue, rather than put it on the white piece, I'm just gonna drag it along the edge here, like so, so that it's gonna hold down that white piece. And again, if I have a little bit of white glue showing, it's not gonna be a problem because it's all gonna be covered up. So right there. I think that's pretty good. I'm gonna pick up this piece so it covers the mouth, comes around, curves down until it disappears at the tail. You see a little extra glue. You can wipe it with your fingers. And notice I actually have a paper towel underneath my pillow here because I like to be able to wipe my fingers on the paper towel when I get glue on it. Or if you have a baby wipe, you can keep that nearby too. Now we wanna mimic the same direction of the fin right here, but this fin's gonna overlap that white portion of the dolphin. And I'm just gonna use another bit of glue for that. So 
So I'm gonna put that together. I'm gonna let you put yours together, the basic dolphin shape. And I will see you back here with the fins attached in a few minutes. So go ahead and put your dolphin together and I'll see you soon. Okay, so your dolphin should be glued. Um, I still have the opening here. It doesn't really matter where the opening of your pillow is, but I'm just aware of where it is. Now, uh, to make the smaller fish, it's easy enough to just draw a simple shape, maybe rounded. This is where I'm using my marker. Put a simple tail, and I'm not making it very complex. You can see this is a simple shape. Bigger, sharper scissors work better. You might need an adult's help to cut these out. I would not make them complicated fish. And if you see a little black marker on your fish shape, simply flip it over and now you won't see the fish. So I have cut out three little fish using uh, uh, my uh, scissors and my felt scraps. And I'm going to use some glue. I wonder if I want it like that instead. A little bit of glue on each one. Here's my green one. And again, I'm just going to making sure that I'm, I'm gonna make sure that I get the glue on the tail, on the front, and you know, a good, good amount of glue. And I'm just gonna press it down. I'm gonna do the same with the red fish. It looks kind of gloppy and messy, but uh, it cleans up easily on your fingers with a little soap and water, so don't be concerned. And we're gonna do the red fish right here. We're gonna do a purple fish over here. Okay, and I think that looks good. Now, once you have your fish on, and uh, you can decide on maybe adding an eye to your dolphin, maybe um, some eyes to your little fish. So again, just using a little bit of glue here, enough to hold it down, obviously. There's my red eye on my dolphin. I'll put a pink eye on my green fish. I think I'll put, oops, that gloppy glue can go everywhere, but I just try to kind of keep it, there we go. Uh, I think I'm gonna put a green one on my red fish. And again, I'm not too concerned about the glue because I know I can get it off or it'll just dry clear, so that's not a problem. And finally, I need an eye for my purple fish. I think I'll give it uh, a blue eye. Okay. And there's my blue eye right there. And just shift that over a little bit. Okay. Now, uh, another fun thing to do is to just create some bubbles coming out of you know, maybe coming from the dolphin here, or even down here. I could even do it like, you know, the dolphins, or like this, and maybe a little one here, or uh, I could make, you know, some little fish bubbles over here. You can, can decide what you like and where you want to put them. And then I want you to glue those down. Maybe I'll put them up here, maybe I'll put them, I don't know yet, but we'll figure it out. So I want you to do the same with your gems. And then when you come back, we will use the stuffing and get the fish stuffed. So go ahead and decorate your um, fish, get them glued down, add the gems, and I'll see you in a minute. Alrighty, at this point, we have all our fish glued down. We have any gems that you may want to add, and I actually recommend you just give them each an extra press into that glue to really make sure everything is sticking nicely because we are about to move into adding the stuffing. So I have put my glue aside. I have my uh, clothespins handy, my bag of fiberfill, and I'm going to take off. I like to just take 
You see there's still a lot in the bag here. I like to take a little bit out at a time and gently open it so as not to disturb anything I've glued down. Now this is where if you have a pencil, uh, it can be very helpful to just kind of tuck it into the corners or you can use a ruler. I've used that before too. Just kind of tucking it in so it doesn't uh, fall out. And the key is not to overstuff the pillow because when you overstuff, it makes it hard for it to stay closed. And now that I'm near the opening, I'm just using my fingers to tuck in the last bit. So you should be able to like sort of pull it like a mouth that's open that goes to closing to see what it's gonna look like. I think that looks pretty good. And now you can bring your glue back and your craft stick because this is where you're going to use the clothes pins to seal your pillow shut. So I'm gonna take a good generous amount here and I'm gonna slather it along the inside of the felt on one side. I'm gonna flip it over gently. Don't worry about these strings. We'll get those tucked in later. That's just a little bit of the fiber fill. Gonna take another good generous amount of glue hopefully without fiber fill sticking, and I'm going to put it on the inside edges of the opposite side of the felt so that they'll have a nice, strong bond. Now, if you have a hot glue gun at home, you could certainly do that, and if I were in a workshop with you, I would hot glue it. But this is the no-so way when you don't have a glue gun. So hold it like that mouth that's closing. Use your fingers to just gently get it all stuck together. Then take one clothespin. And I see a little glue oozing out there, so I'm wiping that off. And then get yourself the other clothespin. And that's what you wanna do. You just wanna have them hold that down for several minutes before you take it off. And when we come back, we'll talk about how we can use a dimensional paint to add some fun designs and details onto our pillow top. So go ahead, get your pillow stuffed, get it glued and secured with your uh, clothespins, and I'll see you back here shortly. This next step is one of the funnest parts of working on this project, and that is to add some fun designs and details to your pillow. Now, as I said, I'll probably give you a couple colors to work with. And I have um, a blue and kind of a hot pink here. And what I'm going to do is, and this is very free form, I don't have a plan for how I'm gonna decorate this right now. But what I would suggest you do before you start with the paint is to get yourself a piece of scrap paper or a piece of foil and uh, make sure the tip is clean. Sometimes you have to uh, clean a little dry stuff off of a tip if you've used it, but these are gonna be new. Shake it hard with the bottom of the bottle up because this way you can test out how the tip works. And I like to just hold my tip just above the paper rather than um, drag it because when you drag it, you get a flatter line. When you lift it, you get a little bit more of a raised line. So I know my pink is working. I'm gonna do the same thing with my blue, give a good shake, see if the tip also does need a little cleaning. These are older. So mine do need a little bit of effort. And this too seems to have a nice tip. And these are colors that seem to go really well together. I think they'll be nice to complement my dolphin here. So what I'm gonna do is I think I'm gonna add just a few little lines on my dolphin just to maybe add one, two, three little gills and also remember you want to do this last because this paint will smear very easily so you always want to do this before when everything else on your pillow is done and you're ready for a few additional details so maybe i'll put a, a little line in the tail here and that one came out a little thin there so i put a couple little lines in the tail i add some gills i think um, maybe i can even add a little smile here, right where the white and blue meet. So I can go along here and just sort of give a little smile. 
So now my dolphin's smiling, okay? Now I'm gonna bring in some of the pink, and I think with the pink, what I'd like to do is maybe uh, draw a, a plant coming up, maybe like a coral-like plant. So I'm gonna come down here at the bottom, and I'm just gonna draw a wiggly kind of a line going up, and I'm gonna draw some little plant leaves coming off of it. Again, just adding, uh, if you get a little blob like that, try to work with it. Try to say, well, that really was what I meant to do. It wasn't a mistake. And you could kind of make a, maybe a little coral, right? Coming up or a little plant. You can um, come back with the blue and make some little water waves. Why not? So I'm gonna come up here and maybe put a few ocean waves happening beneath the surface like this and just little waves and maybe some more down here goes into the coral comes out of the coral having it go around the fish and it just adds a little bit of fun right and maybe I'll take my pink and I'll put a little pink, let me get it down there for a little pink cheek on my dolphin. And maybe even um, two, three, some little eyelashes. And there we go. Now I can come back here and I can also add some details to my little fish. Put a little pink on that one. I think I'm gonna put some, like a little pink fin on this one. This one's gonna get a few pink gills. And believe it or not, I think that's really enough. I don't wanna overdo it. But now I wanna find a safe place for that pillow to dry undisturbed, nobody touching it for 24 hours so that the dimensional paint can really do its job and dry. And then you'll end up with this really fun little pillow that's just gonna be so fun to display on your bed or in your bedroom, wherever you want. In fact, I just got an idea. Maybe I'm gonna add a few little blue dots at the end of this coral to make it look like a plant with little blue dots. So you can go on and on with this and add more things, but I think I'm gonna stop here. Let it dry and enjoy. So I hope you had fun making this pillow today. I know I did. Uh, this is Doris Benter from Library Arts. Thank you for joining me. If I don't see you soon, stay well, stay creative, and keep making art. Take care.